All right, we are back with more Factorio. Here we go. I am Pax. And yes, we are continuing our playthrough of space exploration. Let's uh, check in on the base. Um, yeah, it's working pretty hard. Copper's working very hard. Steel's working pretty hard. I guess we're just building circuits for solar. Yeah, building solar panels mostly. And maybe some buildings, some roboports. Um, so yeah, we're still just yeah expanding and expanding with the solar panels and um, trying to get more and more stuff onto the train network as well. And today, yeah, we're going to continue um, building out some production on the train network. And there's only a couple more things we're going to do before we start working on the... Uh, space logistics station <clears throat> but I've actually really been enjoying this part of the game honestly like after now that like the biters are done and are not done but you know I can pretty much ignore them um, yeah I spent so much time fighting biters just to get to this point and then this part is like really so enjoyable um, so I've been having fun just uh, doing all of the uh, builds and uh, putting putting together this train network and yeah yeah this is definitely more enjoyable than uh, fighting rider so much it was a little excessive and like we were kind of behind on technology I maybe because I built the base too big I guess but yeah um, but these landmines have been kind of fun what's been annoying because these biters keep freezing and then they do, they like are being weird because they're frozen right here. And um, I'm not sure what to do about it. I almost want to like, <clears throat> I don't know, landfills this so it's a little easier for them actually. <laughs> I know it's like so weird but to like consider this, but let me try that. Um, okay, so then here we are going to build um, the engines and yes I did also decide finally that I'm not going to put gears and uh, single cylinder engines onto the train network directly and just we'll just always make those on site and yeah honestly it's like even for this build if we had if we did have gears and single cylinder engines we would have to bring in both of them but I guess we could use one station I guess but instead we can just bring in iron and steel um, so that'll be good um, <clears throat> cool and now we have our logistics station all set up oh, that goes okay, that, that conflicts I don't want it to connect but let's see what about our normal spot I think would be here right And the report. Q, Q, Q is so much better. Q will change your life, I'm, I'm telling you. Your factorial life. <clears throat> okay, so for engines, um, I was looking at this, uh, but then I was thinking actually doing it like this. <clears throat> so 20 through 22 of them, 23 of them, and like 17 of these, and that gives you like an entire lane. Get rid of that. <clears throat> okay, so then let's sort of get maybe a little bit of the belts going just to know the spacing. Um, so we're going to just basically want something like this. <clears throat> for iron plate and um, this will be for steel <clears throat> we actually probably only need one lane of steel but okay we'll just do this Iron 
plate. Okay. Oh. These guys came along for the ride. Oh boy. <laughs> They're still just stuck here though. Then they shoot my... I get a lot more beeps because they kill the landmines often. The, the spitters will shoot them. And like the landmines do not have very much health either. They always they get wrecked. <clears throat> All right, so then the steel will come up, and then the iron will also come up, and we'll maybe make some sort of balancer, balancer, and balancer. Oops. All right, so then let's think about the build. So yes, so we're gonna take in two lanes of iron. All right, and basically uh, we're just gonna have two lanes of iron. And at some point we'll just like use a splitter to um, push the iron to the inside, but uh, we'll figure that out later. <clears throat> and then I think, yeah, I mean, we're going to kind of maybe just, the idea will generally be to have like gears and single cylinder engines. And then also maybe do this. Oops, we're like one too close. And then we're going to put them out. So I don't want to use a loader, so I'm going to just stick it out one and um, yeah, we'll say we'll put this on the far side and the gears on the near side, like that. And then I guess we need this to also pull off gears, like that. And then they'll just also get iron. Right. <clears throat> Sort of repeat that a couple of times would be the idea. And then what we'll do is to basically take this, right, and build the engines. And this will be the multi cylinder engine. And we'll have, um, yeah, just like an output lane and a steel lane, one, you know, something like that. Then let's put some lamps here. And so let's say the steel's on the inside, or the close. So yeah, we'll just do it like this. And then yeah, basically going to just copy this, flip it, and do the opposite thing. And then these will be like this. <clears throat> then I guess we would, we could put beacons on the outsides. I guess so, yeah. So we could put beacons out here. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so that's the template. Um, so let's um, let's build it out a bit. Or do we want to push it closer, maybe? Um, Let's move it a little bit closer and then let's see where would it start where would we get place so we want to build how many 20 three on each side so let's maybe start down here so that's four eight twelve sixteen 20, 24, I feel like it's a little too far up. OK, 
Okay, let's say like this. <clears throat> All right, something like this will be how we start. But then, um, okay, what we have to do though over here is worry a bit about um, <clears throat> So, well, this one isn't going to work at all because it's not going to get gears. And neither really is this one. This one's not going to get... I mean, actually, this one could work. Um, okay, I might move this one up a little bit. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's going to make me want to move them all. Um, but I think we also need... I think we also need another gears before. Yeah, we need something like this from for before actually. And then what we need is just uh, how many? Seven. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop it here. <clears throat> and then how many gears? So then we have seven plus one gears, and we need ten. So just like a couple more gears then at the end. Um, flip. So just maybe not too many. Something like that, I guess, is fine. Or, yeah, and then we'll just get rid of those. Is that is that too many or is that? Nineteen. No, it's way too many. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, yeah. Seven, eight at the beginning. Nine, ten. Okay. Yeah. One too many here. <clears throat> okay, cool. So then let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's get rid of all of this. And then um Yeah, we'll just have it be like that. Cool, and then yeah, we'll just keep those two. All right, so I think that will work. Um, so then what do we do? This outside one's the engines, and this, the, uh, I keep calling it outside inside, but I guess I mean towards the train station. That's why I say that. All right, so let's bring this down. We'll start it right here. I think that's fine. So that's the iron in. And we, we really only need one lane of steel is the thing, so. I think I'll just try to just chop it off back here. So let's make it steel. And we can just, yeah, let's just chop it off back here. Oops. trying to produce um, lots of solar panels. Blue circuits are going strong, processing units. So that means like green circuits are constantly going out. Oh. Reds are backed up. Um, what else is building? Heat shielding? Yep, heat shielding still going. 
Getting there, getting there. So then sulfur must be going, right? Plastic's kind of going, yeah, plastic's going. Sulfur's going. How's oil? Pretty strong, pretty strong. All right, but then now we're looking pretty good here. Let's got this build online, get the power. Very nice, very nice. And then I think what we could do is just yeah, once we have, once we switch over, yeah, we'll have like these, these be the beacons on the uh, inside. <clears throat> I think that looks fine. I, th I don't. We could just, yeah, happy with this. Okay, looking good, looking good. So then now let's add. Um, okay, so what we can do is maybe put a splitter here. And yeah, we don't need the rest of this, I think. And then we'll put um, maybe another one like here and just force it. Not that, that, this. Yeah, like that. Um, same thing over on this side. Uh, I did it again. No, right. And then this one. Okay, so that will just force all the uh, iron into the lanes, onto the, I mean, that will just give us enough throughput for everything, hopefully. Can trim this, get rid of this. Cool, okay, I think then this is it. There we go, there is the build, looking good. And we will then just pull the engines up and around Um, I guess I kind of thinking here maybe. Which one? This one? This one? Great, we did it. Engines. Let's get the train set up. Oops. <clears throat> Bring me iron. Um, negative twenty-four thousand. Sure. And steel. Um, not really asking pretty much, but oh well. Let's make this more. Cool, okay, nice. That should be it, I think. Looks pretty good. Oh, do, do we not? We kind of did it, but okay, let's just do this too. I just have them direct feed as well, just to, I don't know, just to make it more complicated. The trains are on the way. Almost done with the belts, so then we can um, do one of these. Hey, all right, iron train, are you coming? Got another build down. Very good. Just sneak around the uh, other river ports, looking nice. Could definitely put the solar panels over here. Steel is here, steel came first. There's the iron train. Here we go, it's coming. Iron and steel. <clears throat> so I thought it was a pretty good spot. Pretty close to iron and steel. Oh yes, start it up. So much buffer. Yeah, the base is working pretty hard. How much power are we using now? Yeah, 500 megawatts. Been pretty consistent. <laughs> There's those CMEs. 
But yeah, we're basically not even touching. I mean, yeah, our solar power has gotten very good. Uh, yeah, we're not really doing any of the steam engines. These, the only thing that are running right is this. This runs at night. This isn't bottle, bottlenecked uh, by the accumulator, so it runs at night. Um, but I thought it was kind of yeah. I was like sort of excited about like the potential of having like a tiny amount of pyroflux, but I don't think there's anything we can use it for right now. So. Um, yeah, like nothing, everything's locked behind, you know, later technologies for using the Pyroflux. Um, so it was kind of, I thought it was kind of unfortunate that we have access to some amount of Pyroflux, but all we can do with it is turn it into electricity more or less. Okay, the, everything's going, starting up now. So this should be like exactly 30, 31 even. So we might, some things might idle, but I do believe that this should be enough for everything. I think one of these can support two of these, seven to 23 or something, right? So, so I worry about like maybe this one or this one, like maybe one of these will slow down, but it looks like they're going. And then I think maybe the one at the very end will slow down. Did we do 23? How many did we do? 23, yeah. So yeah, we have too much, sort of, pretty much. So the last one might slow down a little bit. <clears throat> Could drop one too, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Or does it? Should I drop one? Nice. Getting there. Almost saturated. The engine units. Multi cylinder engines, I should say, are now arriving at the trains. Hello. Hello. I just like the splitter animation is pretty cool. Nice. Okay. There we go. Got another build online. Are we just still waiting on gears to buffer out, I guess? Is the iron looking? I think it's fine, right? Should we have done this earlier? I don't think so. No, it's fine. This one might slow down, I guess. Why are these guys not going? Just waiting on gears? Okay, we're getting through finally, maybe. There's a lot of buffer to fill up, I guess, as well. We're going full, almost full blast up here now. Cool, okay, cool. I think we're there, maybe. Nice, looking nice. Cool, okay, I, wow, looks like we have gears online now. It's still not quite saturating for some reason. Seventeen. They have the modules. But 
But I think, yeah, I think maybe it's just because some of the... Even these are buffering out and backing up now. So to fill up this like buffer here so that it would back up like a little bit. I think then this is now a good spot to take a break. Let's see how the base is still doing. Let's just check on a couple things before we do. Yeah, blues are still, yeah, it's gonna be a while for these uh, to fill up. So that's gonna be running for a while. And yeah, this has been running for a while. This has been running for, yeah. So. <laughs> I think batteries backed up, rocket fuel backed up. <clears throat> Way before the heat shielding did. So then, yeah, we want to build then one last thing um, before we start working on the um, logistics, space logistics hub. So like this, this space, I'm planning to build the um, uh, like a big train station and a cars on belts logistics system, all the sciences, solar panels, modules, all the rocket things, build the rocket silos, build the cargo launching, everything. So um, we're basically ready. We have almost all the resources. We have all the fluids. We have everything barreled. We need, the only thing we need left, I think, that we need to put on the train network for this kind of like large scale production is, um, yeah, look how busy the trains are getting now. <laughs> the only thing left we need after, um, now that we have the engines as well, is um, rocket control units. And so that's gonna be a ginormous build. And so that'll be fun. And um, yes. Um, it's not quite, it keeps stopping a little bit, so it's a little frustrating. I worry it's like, is this like not, see, like it's backing up. That's part of the problem, actually. Huh. Um. I guess I'm going to try this. Um, so the idea with that, yeah, so I think what was happening is like, yeah, because they take for priority on the inside lane, by the time it was getting here, it was actually backing up a little bit. So I wasn't getting the full 30 throughput at the end to the end. So that's why I think it was slowed down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, I think that's better. Sort of a goofy way of fixing the problem, but yeah, that's that's better. Now it's really getting to the end. That was the problem before. So slightly backing, slightly not enough throughput. And then that should, that should lead it to uh, getting more saturated. Oh boy, oh boy. These ones that are just frozen are so silly. Okay, well then, I think then now it looks like we're finally getting saturated. At least the right side is. And I think the left side will be in just a second. But <clears throat> we'll see if it's fine. Doing that was fine, I think, actually. Nice, okay, nice. Yes, there we go, finally. Okay, looking good. Lots of green dots. 
Cool. Okay, we'll wrap it up here. There you go, Factorio. I am Pax, and I'll see you in the next video.